Now, the two best things you can actually receive and give this holiday season is love and forgiveness. Hi everyone, good morning. I'm actually in my car again, uh, but don't worry. I don't actually record my videos when I'm um, literally driving, so uh, you don't have to worry about my safety. But anyway, with Christmas fast approaching and a couple of days more left for us to um, finish all the things that we need to finish, like last minute uh, gift shopping and last minute grocery shopping, and last minute distribution of gifts, we are actually very busy that we tend to forget the real meaning of Christmas so hopefully you take time to actually um, just sit down and reflect on what Christmas truly means I think it's important for all of us to actually um, take time to sit down and reflect on the, uh, the real meaning of Christmas which is love and forgiveness love is self-explanatory um, this is actually the season of love and everybody is actually um, more loving in a way everybody's more giving in a way so uh, I'd like to dwell more on forgiveness now forgiveness comes in three forms the first is actually forgiving oneself forgiving oneself for being very hard on yourself for being your worst critic and because of that uh, there are there is a lot uh, there are a lot of people who actually experience depression anxiety because of this lack of forgiveness of of yourself okay so the next form is actually forgiving others who have hurt you um, forgiving others for um, disregarding your feelings for overlooking um, uh, what you have done for not giving importance to you for making you feel um, small for making you feel insignificant for hurting you so uh, this is a time that actually um, you can decide to forgive those who have hurt you and then the last the third and the last form is forgiving or asking for forgiveness from those people you have hurt now the two best things you can actually receive for and give this holiday season is love and forgiveness it is okay to say I'm sorry when you know that you're at fault when you know that you were the one who actually caused the trouble or the problem or you have hurt um, people so it's not a sign of weakness it's actually a sign of strength if you're able to admit your fault and take um, responsibility for that and you will actually be surprised that things will actually be better and relationships will um, be better and things will flow smoother if people just learn to say or to apologize so um, again this is a season of love the two best things that you can actually give um, now is actually love and forgiveness forgiveness in three forms forgiving yourself forgiving um, others and asking for forgiveness so and so I hope um, with this realization um, you have a more meaningful holiday season so I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a blessing filled new year so bye bye I'll talk to you soon Merry Christmas Thank you.